Good morning all, it's Peter here on uh, Fast Forward out there um, here at 1770 Queensland, Australia. Today is the 28th of October, Monday, um, and maybe my last day here. Um, expecting a tow tomorrow, um, and the weather still looks good, and uh, yeah, going to remain hopeful. We've already had one failed attempt. Um, so I'm not counting on things being exactly right, but uh, the forecast is much more uh, in our favour at the moment. So I've just come ashore and uh, <clears throat> haven't even had my coffee yet. You can see, you can hear that in my voice. <laughs> um, yeah, just going to uh, throw out some trash, pick up some fresh water, have a bit of a dip, then a fresh water shower on shore, and uh, yeah, see what the day brings. But, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Even though I wanted to get moving and get moving on, um, yeah, well, it still will be uh, uh, sad to leave this place. That's, uh, yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. So here is my errands, ready to be done. Trash out, water in. Have a little swim. Um, tide's just on the turn at the moment, it's not getting that high anymore at the moment. We're sort of midway between the uh, full moons now. Um, the last one being a uh, harvest, no, was it harvest? No, hunter's moon, hunter's moon. So uh, anyway, it's all quiet on the river here at the moment. Um, it's about six o'clock in the morning. No daylight saving in Queensland, so, uh, but you still wake up at this time anyway, so you just gotta be a morning person here. So, yeah, it's nice and quiet. Looks like Forrest and Michelle are on their way over to pick me up. We're going to go and apparently uh, relaunch their houseboat, which is at the airport, of all things. <laughs> anyway, let's see what the day brings. Well, here we are at uh, Agnes Water Airfield. Um, picking up the houseboat where it's been stored. Yeah, hope you see some kangaroos. We saw some coming in. <laughs> Hmm, quite a nice long airstrip actually. Don't know how many feet it is. I don't think air traffic control's got much to do. These guys. <laughs> There's some kangaroos down there. There we go. Bit of a standoff. Boom, boom. Oh, we're going to launch this thing now. Down to there.
What's all the buzzing around? Here's me and me mate, Pelly. You're very inquisitive, aren't you, Pelly? Hi guys. Well, it's later on in uh, in on with um, in 1770 on Monday, the uh, 28th. I think I said it was before, so I won't uh, disagree with myself. Um, yeah, so I've uh, been ashore uh, for a lot of the morning um, with my friends Michelle and Forrest. Um, helped them get their houseboat, which was stored at the airport. Um, obvious right you know that's where you put houseboats um yeah we launched out of the ramp and there was a couple of problems uh, we hoisted it out and then sat in it for a while and just shot the breeze and had some lunch and whatever and um just arrived back a few minutes ago um during that process i heard from scott um the guy who tr owns the trawler who's going to be towing me tomorrow and he confirmed that they will be leaving Bundaberg shortly after that phone call. Um, do some fishing on the way up. It is a trawler. And uh, <clears throat> they'll be anchored off the uh, bar tomorrow morning uh, where Kevin will take me out in Top Lady um, to basically get tied up to the trawler. So that's a go. That sounds good. Um, I then heard from Bundaberg Marina, Port Bundaberg Marina. And uh, they confirmed they had me there for two nights starting tomorrow. Um, and also that the lift out will be on Thursday. So um, 30th of October, this little girl, this big girl, whatever, um, will be lifted out of the water. And we'll at last start seeing what's what, what's required. And uh, yeah, steps to take the way forward. So, after three and a bit weeks here in beautiful 1770, I was down getting lunch and I thought, I have been here for three and a bit weeks and I've got nothing from here. So, I got myself the cap. And a t-shirt. Okay. And... I think that's appropriate actually. It says Adventures in Paradise. I think that's what I've been having. I'm pretty sure I qualify for having an adventure in paradise now. So anyway, done that, got the t-shirt. And um, yeah, it's funny actually, I've bought nothing else really. I mean, um, sailing around these places, towns are usually what we avoid, or what I avoid anyway, um, only to go and get supplies. So one town, another town, uh, they kind of look the same full of people, same shops, um, some have some historic sort of um, singularities or whatever that make them stand out, but on the whole, um, I guess I'm much more into the natural beauty of places. So um, yeah, sorry people, not a lot of souvenirs, in fact zero at the moment, I couldn't even think of what to buy. Anyway, there you go, managing expectations every day. So, I now have to uh, deflate my tender because I reinflated it to uh, spend a bit more time here at the mooring. Um, so, I'll deflate that, pack that away, and also take down the awning, which you can see in the background here. 
um, as uh, yeah, it'll restrict movement basically. I would never have that up while I'm traveling, um, other than the fact that you can't sail with it because it's over the boom. But uh, yeah, it just uh, is great for sitting around the cockpit, but uh, once you're on the move, you need space, you need visibility. So that will be getting packed away as well. So um, minimal other things to do basically, um, just be ready in the morning, it's uh, first light. And uh, we've got the, uh, the bow line already um, tied up and um, yeah, Kevin will come along and take me out to the trawler in the morning. Anyway, more later, obviously I will try and cover that as much as possible. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching another Fast Forward to Queensland video. As always, don't forget to like, comment on YouTube and subscribe to Dawn Radar.